The global climate crisis, more commonly referred to as global warming, has been the centerpiece of scientific and political debates for several decades. This all-encompassing issue threatens to destabilize the intricate equilibrium of life on our planet. The shipping industry, indispensable to the global economy, is a notable contributor to this crisis through its significant greenhouse gas emissions. As reported by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development in 2022, there are 102,899 merchant ships worldwide, with Asian companies owning half of this fleet. Moreover, in 2021, 94% of global shipbuilding took place in China, the Republic of Korea, and Japan. These ships, predominantly powered by heavy oil, emit not only carbon dioxide, the primary greenhouse gas causing global warming, but also other harmful pollutants like sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter. According to experts, CO2 emissions from international shipping constitute 2-3% of the world's total emissions, equivalent to the emissions from some developed countries. This is more than double the CO2 emissions from the aviation industry. It's estimated that shipping emits 940 million tons of CO2 annually. To put this into perspective, a single large container ship at sea emits the same amount of sulfur oxide gases as 50 million diesel burning cars. Furthermore, the 16 largest ships emit as much CO2 as all the world's cars combined. Without proper regulation, these emissions are expected to increase substantially as global trade expands. However, the International Maritime Organization or IMO, the United Nations Shipping Regulation Body, adopted an initial strategy to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in 2018. This strategy sets the ambitious goal of having ships' carbon emissions from 2008 levels by 2050. According to the IMO's planned actions from 2023 to 2030, there should be mid-term measures to reduce the carbon intensity of the fleet by at least 40%. From 2030 to 2050, long-term measures aim to reduce carbon intensity by at least 70% and by 2050, there should be at least a 50% reduction in total annual greenhouse gas emissions. This would require an approximately 85% CO2 reduction per ship. The ultimate goal is to achieve zero greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible within this century. The shipping industry is a cornerstone of global commerce, handling about 80% of international trade by volume. The International Chamber of Shipping reports that around 11 billion tons of goods are transported by ship each year, equating to an impressive 1.5 tons per person based on the current global population. As of 2019, the total value of the annual world shipping trade exceeded 14 trillion US dollars. As the global economy expands, the demand for shipping increases, contributing to the industry's growing carbon footprint. The shipping industry faces the formidable task of balancing its expansion with the urgent need to reduce carbon emissions. These are some of the strategies that shipping companies employ to align with the IMO's goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, strategies which will determine the future sustainability of the maritime industry and its impact on global warming. K-Line is a premier transportation entity from Japan, operating within the international shipping sphere. Recognized as one of the world's most extensive cargo transport services, K-Line is committed to sustainable operations in accordance with the IMO's regulations. As a pioneer in environmental responsibility, K-Line has established ambitious decarbonization goals. The company introduced its environmental vision 2050 in 2015, aiming to significantly reduce the environmental impact of its operations. This commitment outpaces its competitors and even surpasses the global greenhouse gas emission reduction targets set by the International Maritime Organization in 2018. To this end, K-Line has undertaken several noteworthy initiatives. One significant step is the conversion of their fleet's fuel sources. K-Line is leading the shift towards alternative and new fuels as evidenced by their expansion of LNG-fueled ships throughout the 2020s. The company plans to operate approximately 40 such vessels by 2030. Their first LNG-fueled car carrier, the Century Highway Green, was delivered in March 2021, and they plan to introduce their inaugural LNG-fueled capesize bolt carrier by 2024. An additional eight LNG-fueled car carriers are expected to join the fleet by 2025. 
This approach is projected to reduce CO2 emissions by 25% to 30% compared to conventional heavy oil-fueled vessels. Furthermore, they are gearing up to launch a very large gas carrier, or VLGC, predominantly powered by LPG, anticipated to decrease CO2 emissions by roughly 20%. By the late 2020s, K-Line is planning to incorporate zero-emission fuels like ammonia and hydrogen into their vessels, steps that go beyond their current environmental efforts. In addition to fuel conversion, K-Line has also ventured into cutting-edge technology to further minimize carbon emissions. Last year, the company successfully installed the first sea-wing on their coal carrier, the vessel Corona Citrus. This kite technology, equipped with an automated flight control system, contributes significantly to shipping propulsion. The system utilizes real-time weather and ocean data to maximize performance and safety. This innovation is expected to further reduce CO2 emissions by more than 20%. Along with the incorporation of LNG-fueled vessels, K-Line expects a synergistic effect, leading to a 45% to 50% reduction in CO2 emissions. Another groundbreaking technology K-Line plans to employ is the CO2 capture plant. In August 2021, the world's first vessel-based CO2 capture plant was installed on their coal carrier, the Corona Utility. According to K-Line, the plant successfully separated and captured CO2 from exhaust gas with a purity exceeding 99.9%. Another shipping giant, the Evergreen Line, exemplifies a global brand that embodies innovative, reliable, and sustainable marine transportation. With over 200 vessels in their fleet, Evergreen has explored various new energy applications to align with IMO's net zero goals. Over the years, Evergreen's sustainability report indicates a considerable decrease in CO2 emissions from their fleets. In recent years, Evergreen has begun deploying more eco-friendly ships. In June 2022, Evergreen launched its first ever 24,000 TUA-class container ship, the Everalot. Despite its massive size, the ship combines environmental protection concepts to minimize environmental impact. The A-type vessel with a considerable size of 400 meters in length and 61.5 meters in breadth introduces a new era of maritime transportation referred as green ships. These innovative vessels incorporate eco-friendly design elements that dramatically decrease carbon emissions. A notable feature is the advanced propeller design that enhances hull efficiency. This ingenuity enables the vessel to maintain service speed, but with less reliance on the main engine's horsepower. Consequently, it curtails both fuel consumption and air pollution. Furthermore, these green ships are equipped with a hybrid sulfur oxide scrubber system, a cutting-edge technology that uses seawater to neutralize and minimize the sulfur oxides from the exhaust gas. This feature ensures the ship's compliance with the global sulfur cap implemented in 2020. Another environmental-friendly adaptation is the application of a special anti-fouling coating to the ship's hulls. This measure not only decreases pollution emissions, but reduces sailing resistance, leading to a significant reduction in fuel consumption. These measures represent just a fraction of the increasingly diverse approaches shipping companies are implementing to achieve their net zero emission targets. As shipping companies uphold their commitment to fight against climate change, they persistently strive to harmonize the provision of maritime transport services with environmental stewardship. The global climate crisis presents an urgent call to action, and the shipping industry, as a significant player, must rise to this challenge. Recognizing their role in the crisis, shipping companies are innovating and implementing measures to align with the International Maritime Organization's emission reduction targets. Through their respective ambitious initiatives and strategies, they exemplify the sector's potential to transform into an environmentally responsible entity without compromising the global economy's demands. The transition of the shipping industry towards a sustainable future is no small feat. The road to net zero emissions is long and challenging. As the industry navigates this uncharted territory, one thing remains clear. The shipping sector's transformation holds significant implications for the global fight against climate change. It reminds us that every industry, every corporation, and every individual has a part to play in ensuring the health and longevity of our planet.